Welcome to Science with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover factors that keep apex predator populations in check. In my other apex predator video, we discuss their importance to keeping other species populations in check. So now, let's cover a few factors that keep apex predators in check. First, just like any other species, resources like territory, food, water, etc. can play a role in population size. For example, if a predator species overhunts and depletes a prey population, that will in turn impact the size of the predator population. Next, gestation periods, that's the period of time an animal carries their offspring, so pregnancy, the size of litters and the frequency of litters can impact population size as well. According to the International Wolf Center, a gray wolf's gestation period is around 63 days. Compare that to something lower on the food chain like a mouse, which is probably going to be around 20 days or so, depending on the type of mouse. Again, according to the International Wolf Center, for example here, gray wolves will have an average litter of four to six pups. Now it could be more, could be less. Food availability, other predators, and diseases will affect how many of those actually survive. And a mature female wolf will give birth to one, lit one litter of pups each year. Now mice can multiply very quickly. So this can all vary depending on the type of mouse and factors like food, temperature, the seasons, shelter, etc. So a lot of variables here, but let's take a look at this. A mouse can give birth to six to eight babies at a time. Can be more, can be less. Now, mice can also breed multiple times a year, sometimes having litters um, six to ten times in one year. Again, could be more, could be less. And once those baby mice are born, they're able to have babies of their own just a couple of months after birth. So you can see how quickly a mouse population, something lower on the food chain, can grow. Like I said, all of those numbers are very general and rely on a lot of factors, but they still give you an idea of, of what is possible. So as you can see, the gestation periods, the number of litters, and the size of those litters impact population size. And lastly, I want to talk about apex predators keeping their own numbers in check, aka self-regulation. Oikos published a study in which this was researched. I added the link in the description if you want more details. So basically, apex predators may keep their own populations in check by only letting certain members breed. There are very complex social systems within some populations, so dominant in individuals can control numbers within their group. This control helps avoid the depletion of their resources. So there you have it. There are some factors that keep apex predator numbers in check and their numbers sustainable. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.